So we're here because of the humanitarian crisis in Yemen, which the United States has been fueling and allowing to happen on our watch with a whole lot of complicity with Saudi Arabia, which has been causing the largest humanitarian crisis on the planet. We don't see it much in the media, but it's happening. And two thirds of the country is dependent on foreign assistance, humanitarian assistance because of the blockade, because of the bombing, because of the destruction of the infrastructure of the country. And Bernie Sanders is key because he has been a leader on the Yemen War Powers Resolution, a resolution that would reclaim congressional authority over war, constitutional authority uh, that Congress has, that it's abdicated its responsibility. And Bernie Sanders in December was on the floor of the U.S. Senate saying that he was going to be coming back with a resolution if he couldn't get strong and effective action from the Biden administration. And we have not seen that strong, effective action from the Biden administration. We're real concerned about the very fragile peace talks that were happening this spring in Yemen. And the administration has not been supportive uh, and it has not been supporting. And if anything, it's been actually offering uh, weapon sales to Saudi Arabia again, to use against Yemenis during the time of these peace talks. So that's not what we need. And we need Bernie to, st to speak up. We need him to stay strong on this issue, to keep leading. And we want to just meet with Bernie. We're Vermonters who just want to have a meeting with our senator. And he's refused. Last night, one, our Ver Action Corps Vermont organizer, MD Baker, got an email at 11.20 last night saying that Bernie was refusing to meet with us, that we would not be able to have that meeting, that he was unavailable. And so that's wrong. You've been a leader on this issue, and we need you to continue to stay strong and introduce that Yemen War Powers Resolution as you promised. We need you to follow through on your commitment. This is the largest humanitarian crisis on the planet, and we'd just like to, you to have the courtesy to meet with your constituents. We're Vermonters and Vermont leaders around the state want to have a meeting with you so we don't have to do this. We'd much rather sit down on the, in your office or we could have a Zoom call. We'd really like to, uh, that respect from you, our senator. Thank you, Bernie. Is this in Yemen? Yes. Okay. Hey, can I give you some information? Sure. Thanks. Hey, do you know about the crisis in Yemen? We're just trying to get a meeting with Bernie. Great. <laughs> and you can Please. pass him this, too. Please. Thank, you. Thank you. We really need Bernie's voice right now. And we believe that, you know, as our senator, Bernie should meet with his constituents. This is something that many people, nuns, ministers, peace activists, immigrants, folks from around the state, from various political parties and nonpartisan organizations have been calling on the center for his action. And it's time for him to meet, to meet with us. It's, um, he just walked by, he didn't even acknowledge us. So that's the sort of response that we've gotten. And we believe that he could be doing such important work. And the other senators are looking to Bernie for his leadership. You know, when I've spoken with other Senate offices, they've said, well, what's Bernie saying on this? And the answer is nothing right now. But we need his strong voice in the U.S. Senate. We need him to introduce a Yemen War Powers Resolution, again, this Congress, to call the question on U.S. participation and to put pressure on Saudi Arabia to lift the devastating blockade that's on the country. We're really glad that Senator Welch was the first senator that has come out with a public statement in support of the Yemen peace talks. Re uh, Sen uh, Representative Becca Ballant has just recently signed on to a letter with dozens of her colleagues in the House of Representatives calling for the United States to withdraw its military support for Saudi Arabia and to make sure that the United States is playing a role of providing reparations, honestly, and helping uh, repair the country, helping provide support for rebuilding rather than to continue devastating the poorest country in the Middle East. And we just want Sen Senator Sanders to join his colleagues, the rest of the Vermont congressional delegation, in calling and, and pushing this, this forward. We, Bernie could be, having, uh, he could be having classified briefings. He could be releasing statements, uh, putting out letters. He could be uh, introducing the Yemen War Powers Resolution, as he's introduced in past Congresses. And the other senators, and as Vermonters who care about peace, who care about justice, who care about democracy, we want him to do that, and to start, we'd just like the courtesy of a meeting with him.